So Matt and I started writing together a couple years ago and one of the things we wanted to do is put together a project that um, followed really the four folds of a Sunday morning service. Sometimes we're tempted as worship pastors to just kind of grab the top four or five songs off of the CCLI Top 40 charts and just plug them into a service. Uh, and that doesn't really necessarily work um, when it comes to actually leading worship effectively. And so uh, one of the things that we've been trying to do is follow the fourfold system, which is uh, the gathering together, uh, the proclamation of the word, uh, the response, and then the sending out. As we started to follow that and look at that more closely, we realized that a lot of the songs that are on CCLI uh, don't necessarily um, connect very well to those four folds of our worship service. There's not a lot of gathering songs out there. There's not a lot of confessional songs out there. There's definitely not a lot of songs that are more benediction in nature and so uh, that was really the motivation um, for us writing uh, these songs and putting this project together was really based around that fourfold model. Yeah. One of the songs that we wrote is called Throne Room and for us that's that's really a gathering song and as a, as a gathering song what we mean is it's a song that we call people to worship uh, through and there's a lot of songs out there that we sing about calling God's presence to be with us, uh, calling God to meet with us in this very personal way. And uh, we really saw a lack in songs that calls us to enter into the presence of God, uh, which we believe is there and is accessible to us. Hebrews 10 talks about how there is a new and living way through which we enter into God's presence, into his very throne room. And so for us, we, we wrote this song and we see this song as really an invitation to come, whether it's from joy or brokenness, into God's presence uh, to commune with Him.